Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Kakadash. So, Heavenly Father and the Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. Okay, who rule well. All right, salutation, peace, and blessings to the fellow laborers of the children of Israel, people of Negro and Indian descent. Okay, Israelite foreigners. Okay, and Aqua that's humbling himself to learn this word. Okay. Down. The same devil, this devil. This is just part of their enchantments, their witchcraft, and their spells they cast on the people, you know, to continue that deceit, you know. This is part of a great campaign to continue to have the children of Israel pretty much go off, pretty much uh, go off from serving their true power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not just through the music and through entertainment and the means of all other ways, your diet, you know, they also give you a foul form of um, serving your power by giving you religion. Okay. And here we have this goddamn devil here. Pope Francis prostrates himself in St. Peter's, but it says Basilica for Good Friday service as he rests his head on a red pillow and prays. <laughs> Good Friday. You know. I'd like someone to pull that out their hat. Where that is in the scriptures. Good Friday. And these devils are in the spirit of uh, Easter now. You know. And where everybody knows about that pagan um, madness of Easter. Um, which I might go into a little of it. You know, let me so grab this book here. <sighs> mm, give me a second here and grab my book. This book that I've always recommend people, the brothers get, which is called um customized fossil. Fo What's it called? It's called um sorry. It's called fossilized customs. I haven't pulled it out in a minute. <laughs> here we go. Lost customs. Bad book, man. Continue to recommend it. It's good for your ammunition. It's good to have the ammunition. Hold on one second again. Okay, I'm back. Getting bum rushed. Now this devil, like I said, um, to the day he's taken out the way, he's always going to be in that fight to try and get the birthright back. But you know the Heavenly Father's not dealing with Edomites, nor any other damn nation on this day, on this planet, you know, or any, any of them damn nations. He's only dealing with the children of Israel, pursuing to the book of uh, Psalms 147. In 19, let me see if I can grab it real quick. This is almost a, this is like a joke, man. You know, in the midst, in the face of the world, these people still, you know, portraying themselves to be godly and holy people. Yeah, um, 147, 19, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You can't, I mean, I can't read that scripture enough and it don't come out enough, period. You know, because you know that this new age religion bullshit where they teach that the Lord loves everybody and he changed in, <laughs> which is a joke. All right. Um, so Pope Francis prostrates himself in St. Peter's Basilica for Good Friday. OK. And um, looking into this word prostrate, you know, it means to humble yourself pretty much. But let's let's dig. I dug it up. Um, it says lying face down at length on the ground in submission, supplication, humility, 
warship, okay, from Latin, prostratus, past particle of, okay, screw in front, go down from pro, before, to spread out, lay down, stretch out. Frequently used in the f is from general sense of laid out, not flat. Okay, here's the verb form. Prostrate oneself, fall down, flat, bow, with the face to the ground in humility or submission. Through that way down. Now, you really believe this devil is sincerely humbling himself. <laughs> well, you know what? They're desperate. The Esau's desperate, man. You know, Esau's desperate. You know, but you got to keep in account the book of Hebrews. Um, let me grab it. clinging to life <laughs> she's she's hanging on so I'm working on a new one um, Hebrews 12 and 13, 16 says um, let me start at 15 looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of the most high lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled. It goes with this here. This has defiled many of our people and continuing to defile, especially the Latin tribes, man. This Catholic madness, man, is crazy. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person, profane, and profane says he's an Edomite of that nation, that profane nation, you know, which is outside the temple. Their, every, their whole lifestyle, their very existence it's the opposite of righteousness. And that's what they were created for, you know. It says, or profane person, that's Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. That's what he's that's what he felt about order. You know, that's what he felt about um, the promise, um, you know, of the fathers and of the heavenly father, the order of the heavenly father. You know, he said, For we yet, for ye know how that afterward. When he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And here we go. <laughs> though he sought it carefully with tears, you know, uh, I mean, are they uh, listening to the tears and the cries of the families whose sons were um, anally raped, you know, and to this day. You know, these things, is these this sick madness is still continuing to go on with the Catholic Church and the little boys, you know. And this is the higher up, and you can imagine the demonic madness that's they could be in, uh, um, that they're uh, um, indulging themselves in. Now, look at the picture of the Pope right there with, uh, with the hat on. That's a god itself. That's the fish god. It's the fish god. These people are defiled, man. They're, you know, the wicked. You know, this is what the book of Revelations referred to as one of those um, uh, unclean frogs. Let me see if I can get that. Let me see if I can find that. It mentions the three frogs. Here we go. Revelation 16 and 13. Revelation 16 and 13. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. That dragon is uh, the uh, the Roman Empire. Okay. But now the modern day Roman Empire is uh, America. And, it, you know, and, and, it, and that 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 dragon, um, which uh, is control of the Roman Empire, modern day Roman Empire, you know, has his military, which is that American damn devil's military might, okay, and his financial might of uh, um, uh, um, London, okay, and this is that unclean frog that I'm, you know, that I'm on now, which is um, 
um, the Vatican. The Vatican. So, out of the mouth of the dragon, which is these Edomites in rule, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole earth to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Most High Almighty. The war of Armageddon. <laughs> The war of Armageddon. This is the devil, man. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, this devil look at our ways as if they're, you know, as if it's foul. Um, let me see if I can find it. I'm in wisdom of Solomon. What I'm looking for it should be in Psalms, though, but uh, no. This is the, here we go. Uh, here we go. This is Psalm, what's in the Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery and they're going from us to be utter destruction but they are at peace slocket this is not what I want <clears throat> so like the point of what I'm saying is this devil is trying to you mean, I mean, what, what, Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai plan on bringing upon this nation, man. These devils are in, you know, best believe these devils are worried, man. These devils are straight up worried, man. You know? Um, and they think the Lord is going to hear their prayers. Listen, the Lord is not even thinking about listening to their prayers. <laughs> you know? He got demons coming to answer them. <laughs> um, it says, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations. Let me start up here. Let me see. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Let me see if I can find this here. Oh, yeah, let me do it this way. I'm not sure this is trouble. That's not it. Let me see. It could be trouble, though. Psalm 75, 73. There we go. There we go. This is this devil's, uh, this is this devil's, uh, heaven, man. And, and with, and this devil with, with, in this heaven, he's totally destroyed the whole world, not just the world spiritually, man. He the world destroyed the world uh, physically and spiritually and mentally. <laughs> and, you know, this devil has literally destroyed the world. All right, and now that they see their time is coming to an end, they see their their, their heaven is catching hell, and they see. And you, you got to understand, the elite knows. They know, they know this book, you know, and they know their time is coming to an end, you know. So it says they are not as in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like another man. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence cover them as a garment. This is these people, man. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. They are corrupt. This is what I was speaking on, the Catholic Church, man. 
Well, you know what? I'm speaking on the, the all th three of the frogs, unclean frogs. All three of them, you know? They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore, his people return hither and waters of a dull cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how doth the most high know? And is there knowledge in the, the, in, in the most high? Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches, you know, and they think that they're fooling the most high, you know, especially, like I said, they're secret societies. You know, what's what these these wicked do behind closed doors and the, the vile acts of homosexuality and child molestation that they're into. And and, and it goes on and on and, and, it, and it, you know, and it. And by forcing those ways on, on the the foolish of our people that are foolish enough to fall for it, you know, they think they're fooling the most high. Yeah, they think they really believe that they can fool the most high, man. These people are foolish, man. You know, like it says here, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches, you know. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands of innocency for all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. You know, if I say I will speak thus, behold, I will offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of the Most High and understood I their end, their end. Okay, let me go back to that, that this though. Let me read a little bit. I already read some. Read it. Let me read a little bit. Read it again. Now that the video's going. Pope Francis lay prostrated on the floor in front of the hundreds of worship at the Vatican today as part of his service to commemorate the crucifixion of Yahweh Shai. It says, Jesus here, though. And the scriptures clearly says, and you think they don't know the scripture when it tells you not to give mention of other gods. But again, you know, they're going to continue to dig in deep to them demons that have always given them um, uh, favor and they're put to help them and continue in their position of wickedness to this day. So they're going to continue on this madness until they're, like I said, till they're blasted up out the way by Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it's coming down the pike. It's coming real soon. The wicked will soon have those iron chains on, man. And I can't wait, man, Lord willing, I, I'm, be a witness to it. I can't wait. You know, the 82-year-old pontiff sprawled himself out on a carpet face down with his hands up to his head as he lead the Good Friday prayers. And listen, only a fool will fall for this madness, man. These people that they got to do things out in the open so the whole world can see it. Just like a nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Esau is the real nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's the real nigga of the earth, man. You know, if you don't know that by now, then, you know, you might as well go look through a video of Hootie and the Blowfish, like I always say, you know, and start watching these videos of, uh, of, right, of, 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 um, of the light. Okay. So it says here, um, and when thou prayest, thou shall not do, not be as the hypocrites, which this is Matthew six and I'm starting at five. Okay. Oh, you know what? So like it, let me start at one, Matthew six and one, take heed that ye do not your alms before men. And they like to broadcast all the good shit they supposed to do. Remember Esau do anything, do good, man. It's, there's a hidden agenda behind it, you know, or it's a setup. <laughs> okay. Do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have not re no reward of your father, which is in heaven. And they, like I said, they don't believe in the the, the father, the, the the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai. Okay, their God is Satan. You know, and the many other false gods that they serve. It's on the tip of my tongue. The the hat, the fish god, Dagon, the fish god Dagon. That's what he. That's the hat he's wearing. That's the hat. It won't go up. That's all right. That's all right. Therefore, when ye thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet, 
before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thy alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. The hypocrite. The hip. And these, you know, Israel's a hypocritical nation too, but Esau is a hypocrite. A hypocrite. I'm just looking up hypocrite. <laughs> the word of hypocrite. Again, let me read this false verse five. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be, thou shalt not be as the hypocrite are. And a hypocrite, a false pretender to virtue or religion. <laughs> a false pretend, a pretender. A, <laughs> you know, a pretender. He's pretending to be a righteous man. You know, pretending. Okay. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Really, I say unto you, they have their reward. You know, and mainly he, the Lord is speaking about Israelites here. But, you know, ha, spirit of prophecies that the, the hypocrites on both sides, hypocrites of the Edomites and the hypocrites of our people is going to be exposed. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet, into thy closet. That's what a sincere person does, you know, does everything to himself. He has faith that the Lord is listening. He has, you know, he can care less about what other men think. That's a real man, you know, his work and everything, his, and his prayer, his face is based around Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, the hell with what people think and feel, you know. But you want the brothers to, to you, you want to be brotherly, you want to be uh, sincere, you know, and you, the scripture said to seek out a few like that, you know, like you, a prophet that there's only a few people that are sincere and, and honest and, you know, and you want to seek that out. But these devils, <laughs> okay, it says, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door. Pray to thy father, which is in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for they for for their much speaking. <laughs> you know, time's almost up, man, for these devils. You know, time's almost up. Their rulership is coming to an end. All right, so be ready to fight. Till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.